This disgusting story deserves a Jeff Hardy clip. Oh, hell no. So today or yesterday, I just saw it today, it was reported that a manager at a Chipotle was fired because she refused to serve a group of black men until they pay for their meal first. But if she wanted them to pay first, then she'll make the food. Now, everyone's saying it was racist. They're so racist. Oh my God, it's so, it's so racist. Uh, no bitch, they're not racist at all. Neither was the manager. The manager, even in the video in question, even says, What we gotta do? What we gotta do? Hey, cause you never have money when you come in we here. We never. Now you may think, why would she say that? The person, the original poster of this video, who apparently was there, has a history of dining and dashing. Tweets dating back three years, two years, this year even. It's him saying he's part of this group that dine and dashes. Dine and dash, in case you don't know, is when you go to a restaurant, you order food, you eat it, you run out and don't pay for shit. Dine and dash. Now, I know I've said in the past that people using old tweets is against someone is like a kind of a shitty thing to do however i did explain that it's only okay if it's used to troll like something in jest like ha look what you said man <laughs> look at that shit man remember that when you said that and she's like ah, yeah i know okay all right I'll, I'll take an l for that one i'll take an l on that okay cool or if there was an omission of a crime now maybe i've been living under a rock for the last couple of years but i'm pretty sure dining dash is still considered a crime and this idiot has multiple tweets admitting that he steals things, admitting that he's done this shit. And of course, when the shit goes viral, what does he do? Play the victim card, the race card. It's because they're racist. It's like that fucking story a couple years ago where that lady uh, was at a restaurant or was a fast food restaurant and this war vet had his service dog with him. And instead of just leaving or not making a scene or doing whatever, it just anything, she decides to explode, make a scene, it go, the, the, she gets recorded, it goes viral, and then what happens? She plays the race card. She actually makes this whole Sally sob story bullshit saying, well, he called me the N-word, and, and he called me the N-word multiple times. He, he didn't record it, though. He just didn't catch it. And person might, might, might be like, oh my god, did he call him that? We don't know. He didn't hear it in the tape. Maybe he did. Um, let me explain something to you, boo-boo. <laughs> The person recording the video was not only with the vet, <laughs> she was a black woman who <laughs> recorded can imagine being so stupid to believe that this person must have said something racist because the black... <laughs> Maybe we should ask the black woman who recorded the video. <laughs> the black woman even on TMZ said, like, no, there was no, there was, there was no race thing there. She, she's full of shit, okay? And <laughs> I'm like, and she's still trying to die on this hill that it was a race thing. It was not a race thing. You were just being a cunt and people let you know and you tried to garner sympathy by using the race card. The same thing happened here with Chipotle. These guys have a history of dying and dashing. When the manager finally said, I've had enough of this shit. Now all of a sudden we're the poor innocent victims. We're victims. We don't like, listen, let me explain something to you. Okay. Let Papa Biggie explain something to you. I know for a hundred percent fact that that manager wouldn't have given two shits in a rolling donut if those motherfuckers were white, black, red, purple, or yellow. She wouldn't care if you. She, she has a history with these people stealing, dining, and dashing. She's gonna. She's had enough of this shit. So she said, "You know what? I'm not serving you nothing until you pay for it first. If you pay for it first, then I'll serve you, okay? Because I don't want to lose any more money. I'm trying to protect my assets here, and I'm not gonna lose any money because you just too fucking too much of a lazy bum to pay for your shit. And of course, GMA gets involved. The Good Morning America tweeted out to this guy Masao Ali, who was the one who posted the thing and who has the tweets of him saying he steals this shit. And oh, it feels so natural to me. And it's like GMA came in and said, "Do you mind if we use your videos for our thing on Good Morning America?" I said, oh boy, I wonder if they're gonna expose this whole uh, Dine and Dash group. I wonder if they'll expose that. You know damn well they will not even remotely bring that up at, in any way, shape, or form. They, they don't, they're not gonna play hardball with these fucking dudes because they don't wanna be seen as racist either. That's why Chipotle fired the manager. They don't wanna be seen as racist. I don't know. We don't wanna be seen like, we don't wanna be seen as a, a racist person. Uh, like just, you know, we don't wanna be like Chick fil A or anything. Uh, excuse me, bitch, but I may not agree with uh, Chick fil A, 
But I can admire the fact that they have the balls to say what they said about homosexuality. At least they said it. All right, fine, whatever. But I don't agree, but fuck it. You said it, it's done, whatever. And then they try to pull the, well, they just thought it was, it was an accident. It was a case of mistaken identity. The same person who posted the shit who was there is the same person who's talking about dying and dashing. Chipotle, this is not the hill you want to die on, boo-boo. You need to really reevaluate your fucking self and think about what you're doing. But back to GMA, whatever. Back to GMA. GMA wants to use his clips for their little thing, little stint about this this incident. And I know they're not going to do anything. They're not going to question the fact that he's part of a dying dash group. They're going to just be, they're going to play softball with him. They don't want to see him be seen as racist either. They don't want all the comments, uh, accusations of being racist. So they'll play softball with him, just like they did with Logan Paul after the Japanese forest thing, just like they did with Natasha Ponte and Rob Bliss after the Tinder trap thing. They're not going to do that shit here. They're not going to just suddenly make a change and go, you know, we're going to have some balls in, you know, in our journalism and actually talk about this shit. No, they're going to ignore all of that or just completely play them up as the victims entirely. And meanwhile, the person who tried to do her job and try to keep things from being, trying to protect the fucking company's assets is now left jobless because these fucking bums don't want to pay for their fucking meal. And now all now we gotta we have to feel sorry for them. You even got these fucking idiots online trying to say, oh, but those tweets you're showing, those were three years ago. Maybe they, they, maybe they don't do that anymore. Um, excuse me, I know your white guilt's blinding you to logic, but um, if somebody robs your fucking house, you, you know, three years ago, would you let that same person back in your house? Why not? Maybe they don't do it anymore, right? Stop being fucking stupid, okay? Imagine sitting there performing mental gymnastics just to defend a fucking crime and the criminals who, co who committed it. Like, s seriously, stop being stupid, okay? Here's a special message from me, a black man, to the white people who feel the white guilt. Um, stop feeling guilty for being white. The people, the white people who did all the horrible shit, that was fucking eons ago. We don't want, that's done now, okay? We've, we've gotten better, sort of, as a society. <laughs> I mean, that's up for debate. But it's better than it was before, all right? Where fucking people were getting hosed down in the streets. Now, as far as the shooting thing goes, that's something else entirely. But, I mean, it's not as bad as it was before. And you should not feel be feeling guilty for some shit you had nothing to do with in any way, shape, or form, we were all not even born before when this shit started happening anyway. So just stop it, okay? You don't have to feel guilty about being white, all right? Just, just, let, just letting you know that. So with that said, you do not have to defend a crime committed by criminals simply because they were black. Dining and dashing is a crime. There's no defending that. The fact that they tweeted about it and it's now coming back on them, there's no defending that. Again, if it's a, if if he's used to troll and or you know to show evidence of a crime, that's fine. Okay, using it as some sort of like, hey, look what you said before, and it makes you a bad person. No, but if you did, if you admitted to committing a crime multiple times, in fact, and you're part of a group that does this shit, it's fair game because you're now admitting to a crime. So if if it comes back on you and it gets used against you, don't 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 get mad about it. Like that, that's your fault. That's on you. You decided to fucking tweet about it and put it out there for the public to see. So don't get mad at everyone else because it gets used against you. Now, full disclosure, I will admit, I'll, I'm here willingly admitting that the manager probably didn't handle it in the best way. I'm not saying she was entirely wrong, but maybe she could have handled it a little more professionally. But I'm, I can't blame her for how she handled it because she's dealt with these fucking scumbags before. And I know some people are gonna look at that video and be like, oh, well, he, he got money. Look, they got money in, in, in credit cards. Um, so let me educate you real quick. Um, just because you have money doesn't mean you will not dine in Nash or won't attempt to dine in Nash. Now, should the manager have served them after showing that they have money? Yeah, they probably should have. However, they don't show whether or not that was the case. They kind of completely cut that part of it, the video off. So we don't know for sure if that ever happened. That's number one. And number two, you, again, you don't need to be broke to die and dash. All you need is an empty stomach and the ability to run your fucking ass out of a door. That's all you need, okay? So, I mean, you can dismiss me with that bullshit right away. But they don't show whether or not that she actually eventually served them or if she did. They, they don't show that part of it. They never show it. <laughs> 
They cut it off and play race card, play victim. I'm 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 a poor victim. Oh my god, the racism is is is, is immense. There's no racism. You, they serve that lady bef, bef, and they make her pay because she doesn't have a history of down and dashing. She doesn't tweet about it. I, I'm so sick of hearing about oh those tweets were two years ago. That does not mean shit. Okay, <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. You know, it was a Kate. I mean, this is a totally different kind of thing. But there was that story recently about the, all the priests and all these people in, in, the, uh, in the church fucking uh, molested boys way back to the, in the 80s. That doesn't mean they didn't fucking do it. That doesn't mean, hey, look, hey, look, guys, come on. That was hey, that was back in the 80s. Can we just let it go? Hey, guys, come on. Come on, guys. Let's, let's not. Just because it was tweeted years ago, and just because it was or was done years ago, doesn't mean it, it's not. It means nothing now. Like, hey, well, come on. Now, that was a year? How long was it? Two years? Ah, fuck. No, is that's, that's worthless now. You think the cops ain't gonna fucking deal with that? If the cops had proof of that, you think they're gonna go, ah, you know, but that was two years ago. I mean, yeah, I, I would love to take care of it, but it was two years. I, I what, what, what else to do? You know? It's not our job to fucking take care of crimes that are more than a year old. Granted, the church example was a, more of a more of extreme crime, but I'm just saying... A crime is a crime, and a crime that happened should be taken, should be dealt with accordingly. Just because it happened years ago, just because it was tweeted years ago, doesn't mean suddenly it doesn't matter anymore. People need to get that shit out their head. And the fact that these fuckers are now being seen as the victims by some people, it, it's astonishing to me. It took, I mean, if you don't know the research, that's fine. Like, if you don't know, like, these people were dying in dashers, that's fine, because not everyone's going to know that shit. But when you see the evidence in front of you, and you got to say, well, hey, look, that was a couple years ago. When you make excuses for the evidence in front of you that they have done this before, and they probably, and they still do it, now you're fucking stupid. Now you're just blatantly, just outright just being fucking stupid. And now this person can't, can't support herself because some assholes don't want to pay for their meal. They want to be fucking bums. I I'm pretty sure you're not even the only black person in that fucking neighborhood that's been to Chipotle and has never gone through that before. So don't even try to play the fucking race bullshit on this one, okay? Even in this scumbag's tweet, he says, can a black man... No, 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 no. In that video, she even says, you come here all the time and don't pay for anything. So she, she knows you have a history of doing this shit. You do have a history of doing this shit. There was no case of mistaken identity, okay? There was no, no fucking uh, race thing. You have a history of committing a crime, ordering food, and running out. You know you do this. And I know GMA is not going to have the balls to bring it up. I know there's a very few people who are going to have the balls to bring this up. And let me just say right now, as a black man, to these black dudes who are, who are you know, the dying and dashers, the, the quote-unquote victims, you are a fucking disgrace to the African-American community. You, I fucking hope you get caught. I hope this shit goes to the police. And I hope someone fucking has your ass arrested. Someone has now lost their job because you want to be a fucking bum. Seriously, Masoud Ali, whatever the hell, however the hell you pronounce that name, go fuck yourself. There's some shit going on with black people right now. There's like a civil war going on with black people. And there's two sides. There's black people and there's niggas. And niggas have got to go. <laughs>